Hey there guys, I'm Denks, and this is Continuous Fall Let's Play of Colony Ship. We're about to talk to John here. Shop is empty except for a man in a worn coat. He's sitting with his back to the altar, soaking dried algae in some water. Welcome to the Church of Salvation, brother. He says list listlessly stirring cup of algae. I'm looking for the prophet. A prophet? Never seen one. He gazes up at you. Though I did see an angel once, standing right where you are standing now. He bathed in a pure white light. Smelled better, too. Smiles. What did this angel say? He said that we stayed straight from the path, as if we all didn't know that already. The, elder, the angel probably thinks we are all stupid, but who can blame him? What path did we supposedly stray from? Come on, he says, with a disarming ring. That's the easiest one in the book. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not fight my neighbor, that sort of thing. There is a reason why church played a different role back on earth. Hmm. But we aren't back on Earth, we're stuck inside a metal can, slowly drifting through space. All the more reason to try not to get along, no? We never got along on Earth, what makes you think we can do it on this ship? It's never too late to turn to God, not to fight in his name, breaking his commandments, but to listen to what he said, even now, declares the Lord. Return to me with all your heart quotes the man. It's never too late. Where are your followers? I knew you were coming, so I sent them away to give us some privacy. Are you a seer too? Just with a man with friends in high places. Not everyone in the church militant thinks we're doing God's work here. Church militant? What the hell does it mean? Back on old earth, they were called soldiers of, soldiers of Christ. Those who fought against the devil and his cohort. The church of the elect took this a bit too literally, and let the fighting part override the teachings of our Lord. Where, what are you suggesting the church should do? Uh, what are you suggesting the church, the church should do? Lay down their arms and pray for peace? The best weapon church has ever had is the word of God, so maybe laying down the tools of the devil isn't such an insane idea after all. You should suggest the, it to the Captain General if you get a chance to speak with His Holiness. Everyone will get slaughtered. Are you a seer, friend? He smiles without a malice. What if there is no slaughter? What if our neighbors are preparing for war because we are preparing for war? What if the church's effort are better served teaching word of God and leading lost flock away from the abyss? And what if you're wrong? How, how could wanting peace be wrong? Uh, it doesn't matter what you want. What matters is what brotherhood and protectors want. It's And it's not peace. Why do you uh, demonize our brothers and sisters, cries the, the preacher. They might have lost the way, but only because church has lost, lost it first. They lost their way because it's human nature. Same nature that it can easily mistake kindness for weakness and think us an easy target. You, you can't be right, says the preacher, shaking his head mournfully. But if you are, I can't take that chance, not now. Not until I see these enemies you speak of with my own eyes. I'm glad I could help, brother. Okay, not bad. I think that's what we needed to do. But we also probably want to check what's, what's here. That's for sure. Several soldiers are moving door to door, looking for draft dodgers and other delinquents. Do you live here? Ask the officer. No, but... A vagrant then, says officer, shaking his head. Are you pleading Corinthian 1031 defense? Sister Rolana sent me on an errand. They'd get on to it 
boy before someone else mistakes you for a vagrant. Okay. Let's see what we can see here. What is that? Okay. That's some sort of a recruitment office. This man is training new recruits. He is easy smile at odds with his strict military bearing. New arrival? He asks unscrewing his flask and tipping it up for a swing. Rush from the pit. Looking for something different here? Huh? Good for you. I'm new here myself. Heard they were paying top credits for offers with com officers with combat experience. So I decided to cash in my chips, if you know what I mean. What did the church and the officers? Same reason everyone else does. They're the brawn. He nods at the recruits. We are the brains. You can fight a war without a can't can fight a war without brains if you want, but you sure as fuck can't win it. You think there's going to be a war? Hard to say. Brotherhood and protectors have been promising uh, war for decades, but delivering nothing but cheap talk and threats. May it be the church will finally set it off. Who knows? You should join them. Well, they, the pay is good. Where did you come from? Spent the last 10 years protecting the mission, only nobody ever told me what the hell am I protecting it from. As far as I can tell, nobody wants it. He grins broadly. I'm Bolt Thompson. Oh. Mad Doc Thompson? Okay, uh, I don't think I can actually take on all of this. Can I? He's one of the targets. Let me uh, let me save here. Mad Dog Thompson. It appears my reputation precedes me. Thompson says slowly, "Are you a bounty hunter? You got to do something for a living these days. There ain't much, ain't much of living, boy." Yeah, I'll have to face all of these guys. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot. That's really a, a lot. This Evans move first, right? I can maybe throw grenade, throw smoke. Hopefully, they are not that good at fighting because they're recruits, maybe. There's still a lot of them. Okay, let's start combat. Uh, let's flashbang. Can we... How many can we flashbang? Flashbang three. No matter what. Well, let's go with these three, shall we? How much for this one? Thirteen. How about headshot then, maybe? Or 11? Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, it was a critical. So he... He stunned minus 4 AP next turn. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we smoke. What the hell was that? And he's also like, oh my god, this was so bad. It's like the worst. Yeah, so now they will basically kill him, I think. Because they cannot really miss him. Oh, that was a nice shot. Oh, 
or can they? Okay. Okay. Unpleasant. Still alive though. Not for long, I think though. And that's all I can do. Mm, can we go for a bullseye here? Oh, really? How about we restart the... Because that just was bad. Like, really, really bad. Mm, yeah, let's go. I think instead of flashbang, I'll just you drop smoke here and it'll, we'll go with that. So let's go for the bullseye with this guy. Okay, that's pretty good. Faith may be actually do some, be able to do some damage here. So some smoke. These guys don't have any protection here from smoke, so... No thermals, I don't think. Okay, good enough. What the? Like, how? How is he so good? Rolled 8 again. Critical bullseye. Son of a bitch. Really damage resistant? It's a... I should have probably shot with this, maybe. Action cost only of six as well. Well, let's see how it goes. These guys will do quite some damage, I think. Yeah. And next turn he'll be more or less dead. Okay, Evans. Can you, like, maybe do something like this? Will it... Will it make sense? Nope, it will not. So... Let's try it one more time with the... Uh, with the combat. I think overall we'll just start with that crit, crit shot. We'll try to, to go for crit. Then Faith maybe will switch the pistol. Yeah. She might also just throw that pulse grenade on him. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. He does... How much did it... It was hit for 17. So it absorbed 7 damage. Like, how much does... He... Okay, I cannot check. Let's throw some smoke here. Something like that? Sure. Hopefully he'll not crit this time. He did. He did somehow. Like, I don't know. It's annoying as hell, but it is what it is.
yeah, you know what? Throw this thing. Oh, 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 that's this is not good. <laughs> yeah, OK, cannot do that then because it will disable their things, huh? Uh, one more. And then we can do a regular shot. Strange that he injected aggro with him. Well, I guess it's some sort of a bonus to action points, but. No. Well, then nice shot. Yeah, I really need someone to... Okay, new plan. Maybe I need to, instead of moving them so close to, to him, I need to just... Yeah. I need to just start a little bit further back. Because if I... I think if I kill him, I might be in a better position. Let's do something like this. Uh, well... I think he has better chance of survival than her. Because then I, I'll throw pulse grenade at him. Yeah, probably. Let's go with this. Or should I give Evans a pulse grenade? Yes, that's what I should do. give Evans pulse grenade he throws a pulse grenade on him instead of a uh, say flashbang uh, or is it here then faith actually might throw that high-end gas grenade to poison those guys. That might be good. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, start combat, Evans. Pulse grenade over here. Great. Gas grenade as well. Yeah. I mean, I will not be able to do the uh, this one, but... Still, headshot probably is good enough. Nice, and it's also critical, so min minus 4 AP. He still crits me. Like, how does he so consistently crit me? That's annoying as hell. Like, this is so bad. Oh, really? Oh. Okay, what if I'll... 2, huh? This one, 6, 12... Well, why don't you go here? Why is it so... Oh, right, because he's not... Right, right, right. Makes sense. Well, let's go one shot here. Really? Both missed? Well, that was shit. Hmm. I should probably not smoke with Evans, but smoke with Faith, shouldn't I? Evans, go here. Faith, go here. You, go here. I should... Yeah. Because then I can pulse him. I can still do... Maybe the critical here. He's stunned. Okay. Then recruit goes. 
still crits, you son of... Like, what? How? Can you please tell me how he does that so consistently? So now Faith cannot do much. Ugh, fuck's sake. Well, maybe. You know what? Faith. Smoke and gas, what the hell. Smoke. Gas. Yeah, sure, this three. Okay, this one will take 10 damage. Uh, this one's will take 7 damage, right? Yeah. I don't think I would, would be able to, like, poison all three of them. Of these guys. Probably, maybe, if I throw through it here. Uh, but fine. Okay. It's fine. Okay, not bad. Now you... Thirteen, huh? Actually, might be... No. I can move out, take a shot and move back in. Probably. Okay. Evans. Huh. Yeah, go for it. Nice. Can you do anything with 4 HP? AP? No. Well, okay, don't do anything. That bastard just crits constantly. Son of a bitch. Let's do double shot, double shot, and then probably heal ourselves. I can't kill him. Most likely. I can still heal myself as if I shoot. And heal myself. Okay, that was good. That was even better. Can I flashbang just these two guys? I wonder. Hmm. No. Forty-six, forty-six. Well, let's go for this one. Nope. Okay, not bad. Okay, cool. Evans. Ooh, this is not great. 16. Hmm. I wonder if he'll survive if I if I'll not heal. I'll probably need to move. What are the chances? Well, let's try this one. Cool. Son of a bitch. Reload six, huh? Let's go for... Black shot first. Great. And then we'll go for three. Okay, that did it. I really hope this guy will not finish me off. 
here. Can I... I don't think I can cover him from this guy in any way, shape or form, can I? I wonder if I'll stay here, he'll be able to, like, cover him. Let's shoot him in the arms as well. Nice. Can we flashbang these two guys here? Let's do that. Oh, he died of poison. Nice. Uh... Okay, let's let's shoot this guy because he's been hitting me like a motherfucker. Oh, but I cannot heal then. Why do I have only 13 action points? Okay, let's heal myself first, because I'll just die if I don't. And then we'll just headshot this guy. Seven. I will have five actions. You know what, go for it. Six, actually. And go for this one. Sure. Hopefully... Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Not much of a chance here. Can move a little bit closer, but will probably be better. Okay, not bad. Okay, let's try to take this guy. Oh, come on. That was bad. That's not great at all. Out of range. Okay, how about we move here? It's fine. It's fine. Only six, right? I think doing this will just be will be just fine. I should be able to kill him. Unless I graze him. Okay, do that. Son of a Really? Um, so. Can move here and probably take a quick shot here. Oh, nice. Okay. Wait, what? How? But okay, we, we cleared them, so that's good. Uh, that's all that matters, really. Right? I should aim at his legs. Reload. Aim his legs again. Son of a... The ga game just trolling me at this point, isn't it? With all those misses and... It's just... It's... Finally. Well, might as well headshot it. Really? 44% chance? Why? Because I'm... Am I ha hit in the hands or something? No.
Uh, George will not be happy with that. It's okay, I guess. Let's check what he had first without unified looting. Okay, I can extract that, but it will be damaged, but it's fine. He had 111 energy shield, which is pretty damn good. Logic, okay, okay. Pretty good overall. And then we'll turn on unified looting. I don't think these guys had much, but they probably had some type of stuff. I mean, it's good for sale, if nothing else. Was there anything else here? It doesn't look like it. I know, at least some sort of a locker with weapons or armor or something would have been nice. So we got one bounty, if nothing else. Which is pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, we need to go back to that woman, right? El Elona or what, what was her? Let's go talk to her. Enola? Something like that. Uh, okay. Can we just maybe... Entrance? Admin district? Yes. Elona. The preacher won't be a problem anymore. Tell her the details. Thank you, brother. If you're still looking for work, the cap chaplain general might have something for you. That was fast. I was instructed to send anyone who solved this problem to his holiness. If I were you, I wouldn't make him wait. Chaplain General Abraham, Abraham Davies sits unmoving, gazing uh, at you from beneath half-lidded eyes. Why are you here? Certainly not because of your faith and devotion to our Lord. I need to know your mind before deciding if you're right for this task. Hmm. Quote, I say unto you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents, then over 99 righteous people who have no need for repentance. Then what choice do we have but to rejoice as well? There's nothing remotely like joy in Abraham's reply. What do you want me to do? When the great deceiver split us apart, he rejoiced and compelled men to fight each other for his amusement. As God and Magog wasted their resources on conflict, the church has grown strong. Now that the true light of faith shines bright again, the great deceiver has realized his error. Understanding that greater threat looms, he wants Gog and Magog to, to set aside their hostilities and fight by his side. This shall not be. Uh, are you suggesting they want peace now? They don't want anything, as you mean it, for they are not the but the puppets of the great deceiver. He commands them to fight against men, so they fight. When he commands them to extinguish their ex extinguish their true faith, they'll do just that. Fortunately, the wheels of Great Deceiver's machine turn slowly. Sending Matheson to, his, to meet his master was a strong counterstroke, but that will provide only a temporary respite. respite. Let me see if I understand you correctly. The church has grown strong while brotherhood and pro protectors fight each other. But if they band together, the church will not survive. Therefore, you must do whatever it takes to keep the strife and, mis and mistrust going. Something of a, s of a simplification. I took you for a man who understands there are deeper nuances to these issues. But yes, brotherhood and protectorate must remain at war. At least for the time being. There is another matter I'd like to discuss. Uh, Father Nico from the shuttle base requesting aid. Are people still addressing him as Father? Abraham scoffs. He's no more than a common thug who happened to read the Bible. If he came to me on his knees, if he was truly repentant, I would absolve his sins. But I would not provide aid to bandits. What about people who follow him? The church welcomes 
all, he says, bring the conver conversation to an end. If they come here, they won't be turned away. Okay. Well, I think that means he'll be uh, basically have no other choice but to join the, the pit, right? I think that's more or less what it means. But we'll find out, I guess, in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And goodbye.